Hey guys, welcome to my part three of the Home Assistant floor plan. I know it's been a while since I made a video and um, that really comes down to a very busy life and having to be a single father full-time with two children and a part-time father of one. So I don't actually get the time I wish to dedicate on these videos to help people out. But this video is, um, I want to demonstrate Sweet Home 3D which will be used to create the structure or the skeleton of your um, home, which we will then export and pass through to a 3D, uh, more generic 3D um, program. To start with, what you would want to do is download the program. So head over to your web browser, then go to your just Google Sweet Home 3D. And right there you can see Click on download or go through to the top menu and download. And you would want to get your the free version for Windows. I just clicked on uh, that one. It'll come up, ask you if you want to save. Then um, follow the um, normal process to save and install your software. So I've already done that. Click cancel here. And this is going to be a quick, simple um, video because I um, Sweet Home 3D is actually really easy to use and um, you only just want the base structure. You don't want to get into too much detail with it. So once you've got it downloaded, double click, install it, then launch your app, which I'm going to do now. All right. So the reason I say, I mean, preferably I'll probably would rather to do it all in one application like 3D Max or Blender, but I find that you use the software for the tools it gives to simplify your goals as such. So Sweet Home 3D, I find, is the better alternative because you got something, you got the tool set specifically for designing a home plan. As you got up here, you got your bird's eye view. And down below, you got your um, 3D view. So what I did, and I'm going to have to say this right now, I am no expert at this software. I've only used it once in my life, and that was two and a half years ago when I made the actual layout for my um, home assistant floor plan, which is what you see here. So the layout itself was designed in Sweet Home really about two and a half years ago. So as I'm going, I'm probably going to slip up a few times, but there's not really much you can slip up on. But what I'll do is generally you create the outline of your house. So what the um, the outside areas. So I'm just going to do something generic. This isn't any home that I know of specifically, but we'll go here, draw them out then connect it and that's pretty much the outline of your home middle click in the 3d view to rotate uh, mouse wheel to go back forth uh, right click still does okay they all just do rotate and i think these uh, let's rotate i wouldn't worry too much about the 3d view anyway i mean you're not getting into 3d modeling as such um once that is done, you want to do your texture for your walls. I mean, this is I also find easier to do in this application than it is in Blender or 3D Max, as it's simply just right click on the wall that you just created. Then we go to modify walls, and we got left side and right side of the wall. Now, this bit had me confused. I'm probably going to get it wrong the first time, but I do remember right side. If we click on texture, we can click on a brick, something that can, you know, represent our home the way it is, and click OK. And on the inside, we'll do, I don't know, white walls, a bit of creamy colour. OK. And there you go. So you've got your bricks on the outside, white on the inside. I think I probably stretched it out. Um, so what I also find is good is that because you can, um, 
when you create your walls, as you click down, you can actually see your length, angle, and thickness. So you've got a bit more control as well over your um, layout design. I mean, you can go around your house, grab a, um, grab a um, tape measure, and just start measuring your rooms and do a little bit of a uh, floor plan on a piece of paper, write down the dimensions, and you can have a perfect layout. I didn't go that. Only for some rooms I did actually go that route, but generally I just um, I just guessed and I pretty much got something that does look very close to the dimensions of my own home. But that's another great feature in regards to using Sweet Home 3D is that you get your um, tools to make sure you get something that looks close and natural for your own home. We right click that, we can go to modify walls and we can also change the height, whether it's a sloping wall, again, texture and so forth. While we're in here, we can do create rooms. Now I probably suggest, I can't remember using this when I um, did my floor plan two years ago, but with this, you can lay out your rooms, almost like as if you got the walls. Sorry guys, I'm actually uh, kind of experimenting here to see how we go. And um, right click, finish that off. And we'll right click that again because I don't think it came up. Then we go modify rooms and we can go add baseboard, okay. I think that added a, um, a wall skirt down the bottom. I don't We'll just click OK. Yeah, it does. So whatever's in that room, so it adds a little um, board down beneath. But I don't think you can create the walls from that actual um, plan. So what you want to do is uh, go back, let's go select and move that wall out to fit along that room. Now, I don't know if there's a snapping feature. It would be um, handy if they did. So now that we've got the walls to fit, we go modify rooms and we can go recompute walls and we can even change the color. Just show that it is actually defined within that room, this wall. I will just do something bizarre. Click OK. And as you can see, we've got a big dark blue wall in that room. So... What you also find with uh, the room, and this is why I did want to point out making the um, rooms, is because you can also add the floor. So again, I'll go color, which will be helpful in your 3D program. And we'll do pink, and as you can see, you have a pink floor. So that's all good and well. As you got the skeleton layout, what you would do next, and I wouldn't say get too involved, I mean the assets that um, Sweet Home 3D have, isn't really um, big whatsoever, but you can use them as placeholders and delete them after or whatnot in your um, 3D software. But you can add your shower, toilet in these rooms. Let's go to the kitchen. You got um, fridge, kitchen cabinet. So let's say cabinet. And if you want to place it, put it in. And you can see it's right there. Now to raise it, I believe, Right click, modify furniture, and you got all your options in here. So X, Y, and that's obviously the top view, X, Y, and Z is normally the back forth, but I'd say they've got it as uh, elevation. Okay, so elevation if you want to raise it. And I don't know, let's say 20. It's 20. And that's, you know, trial and error. Play around with it. You'll get your cabinets how you wish. You can add a little oven, sink. You know, do whatever you feel is necessary. Like I said, I believe I made the outside walls way too big. I wasn't actually looking at the values when I was creating it. So uh, it looks like these, all the things in the home are very miniature. You can stretch and do as you please. Whatever floats your boat. 
um, do not worry about lights. We do that in the um, the other 3D software. Living room, add what you want in there just to give it a bit of decoration. Again, your 3D software, you can download many um, free objects to import to um, make it look a little bit nicer. So also lastly, I do want to touch on one of the most important things to add, which will be your doors and windows. So to simply place a door, say if you wanted a front door, oh, for now I'll just add the generic, place it into your floor plan and click. Oh, let go of click and then we can go to modify furniture as it's classed as a furniture and we can change again the dimensions, placement, even color and um, texture and materials. Won't worry too much about those as you can always easily change them in your 3D program. Um, secondly, if we add a door, let's say, to this room, so if we did it on this side, you kind of want the um, door placed uh, mirrored. So we'll go into there. You can do flip vertically, and then you have the door open in the correct direction. To fine tune, you can use the arrow keys to place it a little bit closer to the um, wall if you need. And again, with the windows, let's do a fixed window. We'll just add that over here. And as you can see, it places the window nicely. And again, we can go flip and modify the furniture. And we can change dimensions again. So if we wanted a little bit bigger, uh, centimeters, I don't know, 200 centimeters. Okay, now you've got to wind a window. We would then move on to exporting it as an OBJ, which is a generic format to be read by most 3D programs. Export to OBJ format. Keep it all localized and go ahead and save it to where you would in a OBJ format. I'll show you the one. I've still got the actual saved file for it that I'd done two and a half years ago. Uh, projects, Sweet Home 3D, Home Assistant, Home Assistant. Wait for that to load a second. And this is actually how I did mine. It is very near. I mean, a lot of it's changed. I actually deleted the pool table and, you know, done a lot of, um, a lot of fixing up and rearrangements in the actual 3D program. Whereas this, I really just wanted the walls done, the measurements of the walls and the floors. Whereas the rest will be, you know, detailed in um, either Blender or 3D Max, depending on what software you prefer. So once that's done, again, you would just export. Then in the next video, I want to show you, uh, you know, using 3D Max, I'll use 3D Max. And you can use Blender or whatever you prefer, but for the sake of these tutorials, I'm just going to stick with 3D Max and you'll have to discover the um, same process and flows that would be used in 3D Max as you would in Blender or, I don't know, even 3D Maya. So thanks, um, thanks again for watching and hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully we can move forward and it won't be as long till I make the next video to help you guys. Cheers.